Hello, everyone. Zoe's back in headlines. How was your vacation? Did you have a good time? After the season hiatus, let's kick up the new one with something adorable. Hopefully, it'll help you feel crisp and invigorated on stressful Monday. 现在最受年轻人喜欢的一个动物就是卡皮巴拉了。So let's see how this humble capybara became a spirit animal for Asia's youth. Humble has three usages to describe personal trait and situation. Let's learn more about them through sentence examples. He's very humble about his success. Qian Xu De is pretty much like modest. He came from a fairly humble, poor background. Here, humble is of low rank. 比较卑微的，或者是比较低下的。Okay, three years ago, she was just a humble actor, 小演员啊。He's an ordinary, not very special. 那么普普通通的卡皮巴拉如何成为亚洲年轻人的 spirit animal? A spirit animal is something that you find yourself related to or admire. You believe that this animal helps guide you on a journey. 某些动物身上的有一些吸引你的或者是让你觉得欣赏的东西啊。For example, butterfly represents transformation. Horse is the imagery of freedom. This article is mostly comprised of quotes from others in interviews, and the language is mostly informal.、Um, and I think it is the terrific reference for speaking test on the question, "What is your favorite animal?" After years of following them online, Li Jing finally met her spirit animal, the capybara, at one of the Sydney's zoo. She adored them because they were so cute, so quiet, and so chill. You know that in spoken English, adore is an informal way to say love or like. You can say I adore pop music or I adore cheesecake, right? So, but if you adore God, your love for Him is deep and with respect. Adore 在口语当中呢是喜欢，它完全可以和 love 或者是 like 替换。那除此之外呢，这种爱也可以带有崇拜的意思啊。比如说 adore God， 崇拜上帝 ，or both boys adored their father， 崇拜他们的父亲。Chill, 很口语化的 chill out, 冷静一下 Say the bar has a pretty chill vibe, 轻松的气氛那喜欢卡皮巴拉是因为他们很可爱 cute, 很安静 quiet, and 很放松 chill. Capybaras rise to global stardom started in 2023 when a Russian blogger released a song called Capybara that went viral on TikTok and received millions of likes. In parts of Asia, the animal's popularity took off years earlier, with an active fandom developing in Japan in the early 2010s, followed by China. 这里有两个词啊，一个是 stardom， 一个 fandom， 什么意思呢 ？Let's take a look at this suffix. Okay, dumb. Dumb is a、um, suffix representing domain. So in a kingdom, 王国是一个领域。那么 stardom， 名人圈，明星圈 ，fandom。粉丝圈就是饭圈，对吗？我们之前学过词组 shoot to the stardom， 一炮走红。Toxic fandom， 有毒的饭圈。Popularity took off years earlier. Take off is a pretty common a phrasal verb. It has many senses, and and since there's off here, most of the senses are related to leave. Okay, let's say take off the hat， 摘掉帽子。An airplane takes off， 飞机起飞。Take a day off。请了一天假，对吗？那么这里的 popularity or career takes off means that career suddenly starts to be successful. 其实就是事业起飞啊，或者是呃名声鹊起。比如说 ，the new product really took off among teens. 那么 go viral 也是走红的意思哦。A researcher of Chinese popular culture said the highly volatile and super competitive environment of the post-COVID era. Was one reason why the animal had become so popular among young people in Asia. Okay, volatile is unstable, and believe it or not, we met this word in episode four. Volatile market, volatile situation, volatile temper, or volatile price. 不稳定的市场价格，呃，状况以及脾气。Okay. Young people have been struggling to cope with pressure, and many could not see the point of trying hard and joining the rat race.、So、the researcher added that the internet neologisms like "lying flat" and "quiet quitting" reflect the same kind of sentiment. But in comparison, a capybara's temperament carried a more positive connotation than these terms. 
The allegisms are newly created words that express new concepts. 躺平啊，佛系啊，这些都可以称为是 neologism. Your temperament is your basic nature. 那我们之前呢还见过几个类似的词 disposition 和 personality. What's the difference between these three words? Let's see them one by one. Personality is your outward behavior, such as sociability or openness, and etc. And personality 更多的强调是外在的行为特征，比如说社牛，很开放。His wife has a strong personality, 外在表现强势的性格。Temperament is related to temperature, 是跟温度相关的。所以 temperament 更多的体现出的是你性格的啊、uh, 冷热。或者是对于情绪反应的快和慢。If someone is short-tempered, it means that he has a bad temperament. 脾气差很容易就生气。And disposition, disposition is um your habitual mood. 它是一种相对稳定的、长期的一个性情。Connotation is more like implication than meaning. It's not as straightforward as meaning, but implies something that makes you think. 是一种内涵或者是一些联想的含义哦。Gen Z highly recommends. Culture connotation behind black myth to overseas. That 黑神话背后的文化内涵啊。那还有一个常见的搭配是 negative connotation， 负面的含义。And instead of a rat race, it turns out that young people have embraced a very different rodent. Right? 你看这句话写的特别有意思啊。A rat race, rat 老鼠 is a kind of a rodent, and so is capybara. 年轻人没有拥抱 rat race 这样的 rat。而去拥抱了卡皮巴拉，这这是另外一种啮齿类动物。So do you guys adore this cute animal capybara? Have you ever thought about um the reason why it went viral among youngsters? Please leave a comment down below, and、uh, I'll see you next time.